Okay guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a UI button programmatically in Swift. So let's make an app, let's just call it button tutorial, storyboard. Okay, and we'll set the iPhone simulator to iPhone 8. And we're going to go into info. We're going to delete this one, main. Then we're going to go into application scene manifest. Delete. We're going to clear it. Command shift K. Scene delegate. I'm just going to use code completion. Check out my code completion video, my code snippets video to get this. If not, you can just copy it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go private let button colon UI button equals curly braces with parenthesis at the end, open and close bracket, let button, let button equals UI button, parenthesis constructor, um, then return button. Then we're going to do button dot set title. So a lot of the times, like with a label, you'd go like text or like label or something. There is a title label property, but I don't think that works. I think you have to do button dot set title. We'll make it my button dot normal. Then to set the color, um, the text color, we need to go button dot set color, set title color. We're just going to do dot orange dot normal. So for the font, we actually do button dot title label for this one dot font equals. We can just do dot system font and my keyboard died. So we're going to do dot system font. <clears throat> of size 20 and of weight, we'll just do bold. So then what we can do is we can also set a button dot background color equals dot system blue. Then we can do button dot layer dot corner radius of, let's do 10. So that's our programmatic button. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to the view did load. <clears throat> And we're going to do self.view.add button add, or add subview. And we're going to put button there. And then button.translates auto resizing mask into constraints equals false. And then we're going to do ns layout activate. Or you won't have that. ns layout constraint.activate. We're going to use a array bracket. We're going to do button dot center x anchor dot constraint equal to self dot center x equal to self dot view dot center x anchor we're going to do a comma and we're going to paste that four times have that so it's pasted four times we're going to do center y anchor center y anchor and then we're going to do width anchor here and then height anchor and we're going to delete this and we're going to make it equal to constant for the width, we'll do 120, and we'll just copy that again, change it to 44. So we should have our button. So there we go, we have a button, but it doesn't do anything when we click it. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> above that, we're going to do self.button.addTarget, and the target is going to be self, the action is going to be selector did tap button and four dot touch up inside which what this means what the touch up inside means is that we just press it so we touch it inside and then this th this action so let me try to explain this this action it's a selector it has something to do with objective c and this selector is going to be the method or function that we call when we press the button and it is in self. So in this view controller, 
So what we do, we come down below, we do objective C private funk, and we need this exactly did tap button. And we do a parenthesis and then there we go. So now we can print did tap button. And as you can see, we get this message in our console when we do that. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.